I'm home in Uzbekistan. And this is the miniature version of me. Oh, that's not your buddy. This euphoric feeling I'm feeling. Oh, it's a. Oh, cute. Poor little baby. Such a cutie little kitten. This euphoric feeling that I'm feeling right now is a little bit, little bit too familiar. I felt the same exact way when I came here two years ago and I had this whole little interruption in the middle of my video about how being at home in your home country, it's a different feeling. It's a different feeling, that's for sure. It finally feels like I can just stretch back, lift up my legs, relax for a little bit. I can look in the mirror and go, Ah, I belong. It's not quite the same in the U.S. of A. It's great, but it's not home. It's not home. The birds. Just, just take a moment and just listen to the birds. So the plan for today, we came two hours ago. Closer to three hours ago, we left the airport. We had some food. And now, if you watched my video from last year, you know there's like a six hour road from the capital city to our actual hometown. And we're about to leave in about an hour and I need I need a shower. My little brother also needs a shower. He's playing with stray cats. Where are you? What? That's the only one that isn't afraid. Of humans? Mm-hmm. Huh. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Aww. They're friends. No, I don't think they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> they're not friends, you think? Nope. We're double checking and making sure we got everything. And now, the little ones are gonna leave. My parents, they went shopping. And then they're gonna leave this afternoon by themselves with the two of them. And then my sister, me, my little brother, and our cousin are leaving. And our other cousin is driving us home. pit stop for this this crazy little milkshake kind of thing that I've never heard of before we're gonna try it for the first time it's such a conflict of flavors I tried to keep an open mind but I didn't like it brother <laughs> missing my brother didn't like it either. I had an incredibly difficult time editing this video, rooted in two insecurities, making this video better than my video from two years ago, and an insecurity in my ability to show off my home country in the best possible light. It almost felt like a chore having to finish this video. But I know perfectionism is the enemy of progress. <laughs> we stopped at this reservoir to admire the view, but to also take a couple of photos of me and my cousin wearing t-shirts my other cousin had designed with the intent of selling. Another pit stop in this beautiful man made reservoir. Is it man made? Yes. 
Look at, look at how it just melts, melts in the background. Look at that. So pretty. On our trip from the capital city of Tashkent to our hometown, we saw a tank. Yes, a military tank. <coughs> it was going very slow, just trucking along on its trailer with the cars passing by. Passing by in an unsafe manner, might I add. And because video recording is somewhat restrictive in Uzbekistan, I instinctively just shoved my camera into my lap. There's even a tunnel you pass through on this roadway that is military property where you are not allowed to record or use your cell phone. They will track you down. I'm not even kidding. My cousin, she was accidentally just like had her phone out and they tracked her down. <laughs> I bought this just so I can record these few clips. That night, nothing was recorded. We slept over at our cousin's house for reasons I can't recall. He's biting his own chain and pulling me with it. We stayed the night at our cousin's house and now we're going back home. We slept deep. It's one of the best nights of sleep I've gotten. Even though it wasn't that much sleep, it was like six and a half hours. It was much needed. After nearly three days of travel, two, nearly two days. This is Tina. He's been playing with us all morning. I think after having finished editing this video, I no longer feel the insecurities I felt over the last few days editing this. I genuinely struggled. <laughs> Not only with the video, but it's also because of my health. My tooth has been aching. My whole left side of my face is swollen. It got a lot better. Yesterday it was like a lump sticking out of my cheek. There still hasn't been a single day where I haven't felt fatigue. I feel like I'm not sleeping well. I don't know what's going on. And I also have a cold, if you haven't noticed already from the voiceovers. In between the time of us actually coming home and me having finished this video, there's been a whole new video already recorded and that was my cousin's wedding. I'm going to explain how weddings work. It was a long time, it was a lot of effort, it lasted nearly a week with the preparations 
plus like the afterward things that adults like to do. There's a whole jumbled mess of how weddings work in Uzbekistan. But it was fun. It was very, very fun.